Okay. So there are two little pads on each side. And then we're going to go to this other side and dig underneath that pad. Okay, and we're free. So now we're going to go ahead and just lift this cable off, like so. And then we're going to have our button. So this home button consists of a couple different pieces. Um, it's got this ring. Our new screen came with it, so we're just going to go ahead and just transfer right over. Same orientation that it was on here. And then this one has our same hardware there. So we're good there. So we're, we're done with this. Okay, now to build this properly. Um, this has a sheeting on the back side of this glass. So we want to leave that intact until we're ready to actually close the device. But we are going to go ahead and take our piece here. That is fairly tacky and we can kind of put it on there and see how well that's going to hold. And that does seem like that's going to hold pretty good for us. One thing I might do though, just to, to kind of keep it in there, is put a small bead of our B7000 glue right on the front edge there. And one on the back edge over here. Once that dries, that should give it a little bit more adhesive there to, to stay in the device. But that looks like it's holding pretty well, so I'm really surprised, actually. Okay, so we're going to pull this thing up out of the way so we can get our cable under there. And if you get any of these lingering string foam adhesive get that out there okay like so so that looks pretty good actually this will not be a two-part video okay the next thing is we're going to take this adhesive off and this is actually going to fold over it's going to fold over in a way that it does not come into view of the screen so as you notice there's still let me see if I can zoom in here Okay, so there's a little thin strip here. Let's see if we can get it even, even tighter. Okay, so you can see how it's set off from the edge. And then we'll take another look at this home button here. So I put a little bit of glue here on this outside edge here. And then I put a little bit on the top side here. Um, I don't want to get anything close to that that home button because I don't want to affect the integrity of how it uh, functions up and down. So I want to make sure I don't get anything anywhere where it's going to affect the movement of the button. We don't want to glue the button down. Um, and then here's those little notches. Those keep the button centered so it doesn't rotate around in the device. And then here we lifted our adhesive up this protective film so our button could lay back down and it's got the adhesive still on the back side so it'll sit in there okay 
now that that's all set up and ready to go, we are going to bring our device back into the picture. And we are going to clean up. all the edges. We'll take a flathead screwdriver and we'll just go around these edges and basically pull off this black adhesive. Back in the day I used to clean everything off like I would literally go through and get <clears throat> every last drop of adhesive off. What I found though is this tacky residual stick them here I guess what you want to call it actually helped allow the new adhesive stick much better so I started leaving it on there and it actually worked out pretty well but we just want to get this um, black stuff off here If it does happen to come off in a section where it's completely flat and it looks perfect, like this section right here, how this is all original and it's flat and it doesn't have any defects to it, you could leave that section intact and just not worry about it. And it should hold down pretty well in that spot. If, however, you don't feel the adhesive that comes on the back of the glass is going to stick that well, or um, you do get it together and it starts lifting, what I recommend that you do then is go ahead and use the B7000 glue and just put a bead of glue all the way around on the edge, just all the way around. And being careful in this area, obviously, we don't want the button to get stuck, but um, and by a bead, I, I just mean just a small, thin line, just all the way around, consistent line, no gaps in between or whatnot. And then after you're done, stick the glass on and then just wrap it up in some rubber bands to keep the glass on there until that glue cures. and. It should not lift anywhere then after that. You want to be careful, like right here we had a little piece of glass stuck to there. So we want to make sure we get that off there because, and out of the way. Because we don't want that glass underneath of our new glass. Because if we go around and press down all the way around the edges, and once we come to that spot where there's this piece, a shard of glass under there, it will crack the the, dis, the new display. If you're pressing hard enough, it will. If you're not pressing hard enough, it'll keep the screen raised in that one spot until you get that glass out of there. So it's always good after you've taken the glass off to clean up your area. Um, I don't have the luxury here under this setting, but just you know even if you just take a razor blade and move all this these little shards out of the way and just get them off the table or take a vacuum and just clean your your spot that might save you some headache from getting a <clears throat> piece of glass underneath the frame here all right this thing looks pretty dirty along this edge I'm going to go ahead and scrape that crap off. Now we'll take our toothbrush and we'll brush that out and away. So I don't want it sticking to our adhesive. things 
one, it's good housekeeping to run that around there like that. For the customer, you know, just clean it up inside their iPad. Two, if there's any small burrs or nicks, and you take this flathead screwdriver, and you just press it against there and rub it all the way around, that's going to eliminate those burrs and nicks. And will help you once you go to get the installation because any little edge or metal, metal is not going to give more than glass will. Glass will break before uh, the metal will give. Alright, so now we're going to get to, we're going to put this together in reverse. So this was the last thing to remove, so it's going to be the first thing that goes back in. And here's our tape, if you remember. It's in our way, so we're going to go ahead and knock that one out first. So we'll just go ahead and put this connector back in. And that's just going to sit right in there. And to help that in, you can take your tweezers, just like two fingers. And on the back side of there, you can just walk that in until it doesn't go no more. And then just close that little latch. And then we'll take our tape. And we'll just put that right back over our connector. And there we go. And then we're going to connect this one. And then this connector. Like that. And then we'll go ahead and bring our LCD back over. And we're just going to stand that up like it was. Now to get this back in, we're just gonna we're gonna give it the slack it needs to make contact in there. And I felt that seat in there. And then we're gonna put our screws back in. We're not going to tighten those down super, super tight either. We just want them snug to where my screwdriver just doesn't, you know, I'm just lightly rot rotating this with my fingers. So as soon as it stops, you know, that's, I'm not rinsing down on it. I'm just making sure they're not turning anymore. And that's all the tighter I need to be. Okay. So we're Make sure this is seated in there. Drop this into place. And we'll go ahead and put our screws back in. Take the time as well to, you know, lift that stuff up out of the way. Don't just screw the screw through it. It just it'll cause you more grief than what you need. So same thing with these. We're not wrenching down on them. We're just tightening them down until. The screwdriver stops. Okay. Those go there. Those go there. All right. <clears throat> so now we're to the, the most critical part, and it's going to be closing. So we just want to do a test close here, real quick. I just want to make sure that everything's going to seat here cable-wise properly. 
and that we're not going to have any issues and it looks like that's going to feed down in there real nicely. So we're going to take our paintbrush and just lightly flick away. I don't know if you can see it. There's little glass shards, there's little things of dust. We just want to lightly brush those off. So, okay, you don't want to blow on it because you'll blow spit on it. So, don't do that. I know it seems tempting, but if you happen to spit on the screen, it's not going to be good. Okay, that looks pretty damn good. Uh, we'll do the final check here, but once we get it to that point, then we'll start uh, removing our adhesive and our backings. So let's start with the adhesive first. And we should have these little tabs we can pull. This little area right here is going to be really tricky because all these cables and whatnot. But one thing we'll do is we'll just go through here like this. Once we get that, take our trusty little scissors and we'll just cut that so we can pull that one out. And we'll grab this other long one. Be able to lightly pull on that, that'll come out, and then we're gonna grab this backing here. Pull this off, pull it off in a way that you go that way away from everything, it'll help keep dust out of your way, and then we're gonna line up this right here so we'll lift that up and we'll push that back into that edge and then we're gonna take our paintbrush and just get any visible dust specks not off there. That looks pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and shut. Check your table and make sure you don't have any other screws or pieces. Uh, what we want to do is get this this edge on this side down in there. So that way we know we're seated in there. We're just going to camera bracket has sat down in there because it's flat and we'll just kind of lightly press around the edges and we should be good that looks good time will tell if you just leave them set for a little bit and then you want to watch these corners especially over uh, on this side because those cables all fold under there and a lot of times if they're not seated right they'll push the glass back up um, 
but this looks like this turned out really well. So we're going to go ahead and power on and make sure. If it doesn't power on, you can see a ghosting of a an Apple logo. Um, hold the power and the home button for at least a minute. Um, if you can watch and watch the logo disappear, um, just keep holding until the logo reappears. All right, so. Clean up our area here and do our function check. <clears throat> so first check we want to do this pull down. We just want to track with our finger all the way across the screen. We want to make sure there's no vertical dead spots, no horizontal dead spots. But if there's a dead spot, it's going to let go. You know, it's going to stop tracking. But this looks good. Like we're good there and the same thing with this you know this will find those vertical spots and the horizontal spots that looks like we're good we'll open safari okay that launched um, go in and we'll just run through our our checks that's still working we'll plug in our headphones Okay, that's working. We'll check our charging port. And that's working. Volume. That's working. Mute switch is working. Earpiece speakers, not applicable. Check our mic in a minute. Loudspeaker is working. Head check, headphone jack is working. Go back into our camera. That's working. Front camera, back camera, home button, LCD, digitizer.